Right, hi everyone, welcome to Juice Tight Lines. Um, I've finally made it after two days traveling. Um, Lab is back in Storn away this afternoon. Um, I was greeted by heavy winds and driving rain, but as you can see, it's now cleared. So I'm about to walk, well, I'm walking to a lock that I got introduced to last year. Um, this is the first one. I'm gonna be fishing this hopefully later on for the brown trout. Um, it's a stunning little water and it's, some really nice big brownies in here. I've had some decent fish out of there in the last couple of years. But the lock up here, um, there were two pens where they bred rainbow trout. And somebody, they're not sure if it was environmentalists or just vandalism, released several thousand rainbow trout. Um, and since then it's been fished quite heavily, but there's still an awful lot of fish in there. So I'm just gonna go up and give this a go for half an hour, see if there's any rainbows about. Um, I can take some for the lads tomorrow at work. If not, then I'm going to change up, put the light flies on, give this a go for an hour. If all else fails, I'm going to head over to my stable water, which is not far, probably about four or five miles, back up towards Stornoway, where I've made my last um, Lewis film with all the small brownies. So this is the lock. It's an absolutely massive expanse of water. You can see probably not from here because I'm quite far away but you can see the pens where the rainbows were bred and released from it's one large water but it is separate there's a, a walkway I, I suppose it's got a local nail I'm not really sure which separates it from this lower part here now, I've caught one of my biggest Lewis wild brownies in this um, not last year the year before um, just under four pound which was an absolutely glorious, gorgeous fish. Um, it went back, which I was quite proud of. So I'm just gonna go and fish off the walkway now into that you can probably see it clearer now and getting closer. Um, and hopefully get a decent bend in the rod and get a few bows for the boys for lunch tomorrow. So I'll get back to you, hopefully with a bit of action. Um, and if once I've moved on to the other locks, I'll give you an update. Thanks for joining me guys. Welcome to the Isle of Lewis and tight lines. Okay guys, so I've just hooked into my first fish on my third cast. Um, on the dry as well. So I saw it rise. There we go. Not a bad little fish. Just gonna be able to get down to knit it now. huge rainbow but it'll do There's the fly right in the kisser. Well hooked. There we go. Lovely. So this is a small one. I've just been talking to a, a local lady who's fished today and she's had a load twice the size of this. But nice to get a bend in the rod on my second cast, third cast. There you go mate. There he goes. Well, let's get back to him.
first rainbow I ever caught here, I was fishing that way and um, I copped my cast up in the strong wind. I had a Montana on the dropper. I was just bringing in the bad cast and bang, smashed right into a four and a half pound rainbow, which was quite pleasant. It's always when you least expect it. So I'm fishing on today is my Guideline Farrier four weight, uh, five weight, four five weight even. Um, this is the same rod I use for the brownies on the locks, and it's also my river rod back home I use for the grading and brownies. It's a lovely setup. It's nice and light, but also very capable of landing big fish, like the big rainbow I had up at um, Innes which was a clonking great thing. Temperature's just starting to drop and there's a bit of a breeze, so hopefully we won't get any midges this evening, which will be nice. fish jumping behind me. Hmm. Might have to do a 180 in a minute. But hopefully you can see just why I've got a, such a love affair with this place. I absolutely love it here. Unusually, I can hear traffic. Normally, when you yomp out to these places, you don't hear or see a thing apart from the wildlife. So what I'm doing with this fly is just figure of eight in it back and then just giving it the occasional pull. Stood on my line and it wrapped around a rock. Good going, eh? Right, I'll make one last cast here and I'm going to have a walk over to that bank to my right. Um, I'm not going to walk too far up because I want to get to the other lock. Apparently, 7 o'clock, poof, lights get switched off and it's dark. 
So I don't want to be wasting time up here because I'd like to go and get some brownies before bed. One more bow would be nice though. reared up chaps and chapesses and I'm going to head over that way and um, fish that bank. Back with you in a minute. Right so there's no more bows showing their face at the moment so I'm going to reared up, head back to the car and judge it by the light and I'm hoping even if it's 20 minutes over on the other lock. It's literally a two minute drive, 10 minute yump and hopefully um, before we lose the light and get some brownies. If not, I will head up tomorrow. Look at that, guys, that's just breathtaking. Um, I will head up tomorrow and get you some footage of the brownies after work. But I've got a feeling I'm not gonna have much light left. I just need to take that in again because it blows my mind. Thanks guys, tight lines. Right, I never made it to the other lake. I saw a fish show, just cast to it, and it's a big fish. Oh God, I hope my back in knots all right. I'm down to the back in. That's the first time in a long time. God, it took like a bloody train as well. Whoa, here it goes again. This is definitely one of them big bows. There goes the back in. Down to the back in. Literally, I cast it in. I need to do my drag up a bit. Just spoke to my wife to let her know I've arrived. And I was saying I need to go because it's getting dark. I'm gonna be in trouble. And um, just saw a little splash, nothing major. So I cast to it. I was just sorting my line out and bang. God. This is a hell of a fish. these rocks. Size of that bloody thing. There he is. Oh. 
Wow, we. Was it they saying that song? I wasn't expecting that. Flipping heck. I'm gonna have to get it. There we go, guys. Look at that for a bug. Holy crap. Hump back on it. There's the fly there, right in his scissors. That's a clonking great thing. I'm just gonna put him in there a second. While I um, get the forceps out. Beautiful fish. Go this way so we got a bit more. Look at the hump on it. No wonder that's a heavy fish as well. It's not very long, but he's proper thick. The hump on it. That is one hell of a fish. Right, I'm just going to sit him in the net and see if I can get a photo of him. Right, so I've let him rest for a minute. I'm going to get a few photos. I'm just going to lift him up for you one more time, if he'll let me. There he is, look at that. Absolutely stunning fish. I can't believe the size of the hump on his neck. No wonder he got me down to the back end. I'm going to let him go. There he goes. Thank you, my friend. Wowee. Welcome to the Hebrides, everyone. Whew. Right, time to head back to the car now. It's getting dark. I've got a bit of a yomp. Um, don't want to lose the light. So thanks for joining me, guys. And tight lines, everyone. Oh.